Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am here today to announce the winners of my Share the Love giveaway. I hope you'll stick around and see if you're one of the lucky winners and if so, how to claim your prize. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. On Valentine's Day, I introduce my Share the Love giveaway in honor of my 15,000th subscriber. I wanted to do something special for all of you who have taken the time to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. My plan was to give away one penny for every subscriber, therefore $150 in prizes, but I did say that if I reached $17,500 by the end of the giveaway, which was this past Sunday, March 14th, that I would give away an additional $25 gift card. Well, guess what? The night before, March 13th, I officially hit 17,500 subscribers. So today, I will be announcing seven, not six, winners. Everyone who wanted to could earn one entry by leaving a comment on that giveaway video and filling out the Google form. And then for five extra entries, you could create a sheet load of cards, write personal notes in them, and send them to friends, families, coworkers, etc. And you didn't even have to mail them, you could also hand them out. I received so many email proofs of card sets that you made and sent out or gave away. It was such a treat to see them all, and some of you even wrote me little messages about why you were sending them out and that you were glad to have gotten the time to be a little crafty. I know many of us card makers spend a lot of time making cards and maybe giving them away for good causes, but I really wanted this to be cards to those friends and family members and coworkers who we might not always send those cards to. And I'm glad that so many of you chose to do that. Once the deadline came, I spent a few hours earlier this week going through all of the Google Forms, verifying all of the entries, and I put together a spreadsheet, which I'll show you later to do the drawing from. Now you might notice when I do show you that form later that some subscribers have earned two or seven entries as well. I did have a little extra kind of bonus or hidden surprise entry where if you joined me for the premiere video of the giveaway and you put anything in the chat box, I went through, wrote down all those subscriber names, and then at the end, once those Google Forms were submitted, if the people who were in the chat submitted the Google Form, I added an extra entry for them. So thanks again for joining me for that premiere if you did, and for saying hey or chatting along while we watch together. Here in just a little bit, we will switch over to my computer screen and we will do the official drawing. Then, at the end of the video, I will tell you how to claim your prize if you're one of the lucky winners. Even if you don't see your name pop up today, don't lose heart because I am going to give the winners one week to contact me to claim the prize, and if it's not claimed by then, I will do one redraw for any prizes that do go unclaimed. So, you might get a second chance. Are you ready to see who the lucky winners are? So here is a look at the spreadsheet that I used. The first page were all of the preliminary entries, and then I put yes or no if they were verified. And then once I had verified them, I took the yeses and I placed those into a new finalized tab. Because I thought it would be fun to see what type of entry actually won the giveaways, I did go and copy and paste the type of entry behind everybody's name, and there were 282 total verified entries. So what I did was I copied all of those names and I pasted that list into the picker wheel and you'll see we still have those 282 entries when I pull them over. Then all I have to do is spin the wheel and it's going to give me the first winner who is 
the NIFs. Congratulations, Sarah. Sarah won for sharing the love, which was sending those cards out. Now what I do is hide the choice that won because Sarah can no longer win. So I go over to the list on the right and find all of Sarah's entries and click those off. That way, as we go along with the drawings, you have a little bit better chance of winning since I'm removing the names of those who have already won. So once Sarah's are gone, I click spin again and our second winner is Cheryl S. Congratulations, Cheryl. Once again, I will deactivate the option or Cheryl's entry that won and then go through that list again to find all of her entries and deactivate those. Then we can find our third winner who is the Bling Bling Crafter. Congratulations! I keep doing this same process to find the rest of the winners, so let's continue on. Winner number four is Melissa. Congratulations, Melissa! Winner number five is Wanda Radler. Congratulations, Wanda. The sixth gift card will go to Daily01. Congratulations. And the seventh and final winner is Alessandra L. Congratulations. Congratulations to all seven of you, and thank you to everyone who took the time to enter. I wish I could give each of you something. If you were one of those lucky seven, here is how you're going to claim your prize. I will need you to send me an email at the email address that I created specifically for this giveaway. It needs to be sent to me no later than midnight on Sunday, March 28th, and up on the screen is the email address you're going to use. Now don't worry, I also have it in the description box below toward the top. Please make sure that you do not use my regular email address for this. I will not be accepting claims through that for this giveaway. So in that email, I need the subject line to be share the love giveaway winner. In the body of the email, I need your YouTube username and your first name. Then I need you to come back to this video, leave a comment below with the first three letters of the email address you use to send me the claim. And this part is super important. The email address that you use to claim the prize must be the same email that you entered into the Google form. The reason for that is, in the past, I have had people who did not enter the giveaway try to falsely claim it as theirs. So that's why I did make sure to get that information from you ahead of time so I know what email addresses I am looking for a claim from. So don't forget, send that email, come back here and leave the comment. Once you have done both of those things, I will then contact you via email to find out where you want your gift card from and we'll get that sent to you. Don't forget too that when you're choosing the online store that you want your gift card to, that the $25 increment is available for purchase. I know some sites will do like 20 or 50 and if that's the case, you would then just receive $20 to that store. Congratulations once again, and I look forward to hearing from you to claim that prize. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.